Are you looking for a high-end beast of a graphics card but don't know whether to go AMD or Nvidia? Well, hopefully this video will tell you the difference. Stick around and enjoy. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is going to be a comparison between the, uh, well specifically in here is going to be a, a, the ASUS Poseidon 980 Ti, as well as a relatively standard water-cooled or closed up water-cooled Fury X from XFX. Now these cards are relatively similar in performance, so I'm going to be covering performance in just a second anyway, but um, let's go over some physical differences. So on the 980 Ti you get a DVI port, whereas on a Fury X you don't, which means if you're running an older monitor that doesn't have DisplayPort or HDMI, then you may be in trouble. Bear in mind that these cards are slightly differently priced, so you may also get uh, some leeway to get a couple of adapters as well. Now, both of the cards have backplates. Um, the Poseidon Edition one, personally, I really like the backplate on that, but I also like the soft touch plastic on the uh, Fury X. Both of them have red LED side uh, sort of bits, so that they're probably good gamers of the Radeon. As I said, this is a specific comparison between these two cards. Do bear in mind that there are plenty of other editions of 980Ti, so you may end up with, you know, one without that. But both of the cards do have two A-pen power connectors, although as you saw in my power draw video, the Fury X does draw a considerable less amount of power than the 980i. Also in terms of temperatures, you're looking at about 65 degrees for the Fury X, whereas you're looking at about 75 degrees for this 980i. I do stress that it is just this 980i and, uh, you know, not any, uh, not every 980i which may perform a little bit better and obviously this one can be water-cooled and will be fairly shortly. Now, this 980i has 2000 and, uh, 2816 CUDA cores running at a stock of 1040MHz and 60GB of GDDR5 memory. You also get in the Fury X 4096 stream processors with 4GB of high bandwidth memory running at 500MHz but with a 4096 wide a uh, bit wide bus, which is massive. Now, in terms of just sheer performance numbers at 1080p, you're looking at uh, the 90Ti running away with it a little bit here. Now, in Fire Strike, it does do a considerable bit better. Same with Dirt Rally, um, where you're seeing about 115 FPS on Ultra with you know 8 times MSAA versus 90 with uh, the you know the Fury X. In Far Cry 3, it's a lot closer at you know 111 to 103, and in uh, you know some of the other games as well, you're actually seeing the Fury beating the 90 Ti, but it just depends on what game, what driver, and all that sort of stuff. In Unigen Heaven, with everything maxed out with, you know, extreme tessellation and high settings, you're looking at 89 FPS for the uh, the 90 Ti, whereas 67 FPS for the Fury X. But in GTA, I found that you were getting 99 FPS with everything maxed out as far as I could find, versus 73 FPS on the, uh, the 980 Ti, so that's actually pretty awesome and obviously uh, room for improvement too. As I said, in terms of temperatures, you're looking at 65 degrees for this uh, Fury X versus 75 degrees for this 980 Ti. Here's my thoughts on all that sort of stuff on the cards. So I imagine you're expecting me to say that the 980 Ti is the better card to get because of its awesome 1080p performance, but um, it's not that simple. I mean, for example, the Fury X does actually run cooler. At 4K, it's a very, very effective card. Actually, as I've heard, it's more effective than the 980 Ti, so more powerful at that sort of res. And also at 1440p, these are pretty, pretty much equally matched, which is really awesome. Obviously, 1080p, it does, the 980 Ti does run away with it a little bit, but um, that's just due to the uh, memory technology being HBM and the Fury X. Now, as I said, you do have to take in other things into consideration, including temperature. So, I mean, between these two very specific cards, obviously the Fury X is pretty much just this all the time anyway. So that's kind of a, a rough idea of what you get. But with an NATI, you get, you know, things like obviously this one, which is the Poseidon edition. So you got a water block built in. Um, which may help or hinder temperatures on air cooling and obviously um, I'm doing water cooling with this one uh, so if you do want to check out the temperatures for that check out the Coolmaster build project which should be coming up over the next couple of weeks so do bear that in mind um, but also you get a lot of different types as well like fully <coughs> fully air cooled fully liquid cooled so just keep that in mind also you got to remember the supporting technologies so I mean with the Fury X, you've got things like FreeSync, you've got um, you know, obviously great OpenCL support, but uh, that sort of stuff. You've got great Affinity support, and you've got, uh, according to Indy, some really cool drivers coming, which should sort of change up the way um, performance works. Also bear in mind that with these cards in DirectX 12, you do have dedicated asynchronous shader support, which um, Richard Huddy explained really well in our interview with him. 
Um, so if you want to check that out, hopefully there'll be a card in the top corner over there. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you do also have to remember that NVIDIA has Shadow Play. They have um, really nice uh, G-Sync support as well as CUDA, which for me as a video editor seems to work a bit better than OpenCL. So if you're a video editor, uh, you know, photo editor or anything like that, a, uh, an NVIDIA card may be better for you depending on what application you use. I personally use Premiere Pro and After Effects so they kind of work a little bit better with that um, and also you just have you know nice 3D support as well so if uh, 3D is something you're after then you know that's pretty cool too but um, yeah I mean it really depends on what you you know want need and your preferences personally I'm actually pretty impartial even as a you know person um, I really like the Fury X and the fact that at this point in time it's a decent amount cheaper than the 980 Ti, but then I really like the 980 Ti for the sheer power it has, um, as well as the fact that it's a really cool card and with, has a lot of really nice supporting technology, including G-Sync, but then obviously you got free sync on this one, so you do kind of have bits and pieces on either side. Now, personally, the 980 Ti is actually going to be my next card. It's going to go in the Cooler Master system, which is a system I'll be using, um, but if I had to pick with my own money, um, because of the uh, great performance at 4K, which for me means it's a little, uh, will have a bit of a longer lifespan. Um, but also the fact that it's a really uh, temperature-wise cool card, um, and just the general nice sort of technologies, including FreeSync. I would actually probably go with the Fury X. Now that's not specific to everyone. Obviously, I understand that some people would just prefer the 980 Ti anyway, but. That's just my personal opinion, and I would love to know what you think in the, the comments down below. What card would you get if you had, uh, you know, enough money to buy both? Like, what what would you buy? So uh, yeah, let me know. Um, also, let me know what cards are currently running. I'm quite interested, uh, interested to hear. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy the video? As I said, let me know in the comments down below. As always, like and dislike depending on what you thought. Subscribe for more original content as well as just cool tech stuff. Um, the Cool Master Project, which is coming up soon, and just a whole host of other cool tech videos, which come out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So other than that, thanks for watching. Check out our Facebook and Twitter for more information when videos come out, cool stuff and pictures and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, like those. Also check out our uh, merch if you want a cool sort of TechTeam GP hoodie, uh, t-shirt or anything else. Also we just got some cool things as well, so like non-TechTeam GP stuff, so check that out. Um, and other than that, uh, yeah, check out YoYo Tech if you want to buy either of these cards um, and you're in the UK, otherwise there's more worldwide links down below too. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, check out some of the videos and we'll see you all in the next one.